Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to change the Read More link on the blog in your Squarespace website into something that looks like an actual button using some custom CSS. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but let's hop on into my demo site so I can show you exactly how they work. Alrighty, so here we are in my demo site. I'm gonna hop into edit mode really quickly to show you here inside this option where it says manage posts, just to the right of that is an edit button. This is how we can toggle on the ability to have that read more link. So it's gonna be right down here. I have it set to show. So if you don't see a link that says read more at the bottom of your post content there, make sure that you've turned that on, okay? All right, we'll go ahead and select done and we're gonna to navigate to design and then scroll all the way down to custom CSS at the bottom. All right, now that our blog has loaded, the first code I'm gonna paste in here is actually gonna remove this text underline. We don't need that link underlined anymore because we're gonna turn it into a button. So I'm gonna add this code that says blog more link after display none. And that removes the underline that shows up after the word read more. Pretty cool, right? All right, let's keep customizing. The blog more link is the code name that we're gonna to use to create this style. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my custom CSS, open up a curly bracket, and let's just say border, 1px, solid, uh, solid black. So now we'll get an outline around the link. Now check it out, this border goes up way higher than the text and super close to the sides. All of that is the padding, and we're gonna adjust that with a little bit more code. I'm gonna add a little semicolon, and I'm gonna say padding, 0.5 REM exclamation point important. That's gonna overwrite the settings and make sure that the button border stretches to 0.5 past the words read more as well as above and below it. Now you can change this 0.5 REM to anything you want. If you want it to be like 10 PX, for example, that totally works. Uh, you can have it set to one VW for 1% 1 of the view width. Whatever you're comfortable with, you can change this value to literally anything. Just make sure you had exclamation point important so it will overwrite the code that made it really big at the top. So now that we've added that, I think it's still a little too close to the text for the excerpt. So I'm going to go ahead and say margin top 0.5 rem. There we go. Okay, so now we've got a little bit of space there, which I like. So this looks a lot like a button. You can also do fun things like give it a background color. Uh, let's go ahead and say background color pink. There we go. And now it's a pink button with a solid black border to it. We can even pull in the edges of the border as well. If you want like a slightly curved button, we can say border radius. Uh, let's go 25 PX. And then we have a pretty interesting shape going on there. Now, last but not least, I wanna add a hover effect because I think that's what really makes buttons stand out. I'm gonna add a new line of code here and I'm gonna say blog more link hover. And now I'm gonna open up a curly bracket here and let's change up the background color. We'll have the background color be blue and we'll go ahead and change up the font color as well. We'll say color, uh, let's just make it a solid white. So now when I hover over read more, it turns into a blue background with white text. You can change up the border color as well, uh, give it a box shadow, remove the border radius, whatever you'd like. Just know that it belongs to the code name blog more link hover to create a hover effect where you can change the settings for our new read more button. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. The codes I just shared with you are listed in the description below, but I really want to encourage you to get creative with the colors and the border styles. And definitely explore some of those neat hover effects, maybe even trying a box shadow if you're feeling creative. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I took all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace and put them into one gigantic PDF. Available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.